first of all, I would like to uh, say hello to everybody and uh, to thanks very uh, uh, cordially uh, our friends and brothers from SCSI who met this very important uh, possibility to meet uh, in this very great uh, university uh, with the big help and uh, the big and goodwill of our brother, uh, Dr. Ahmed, uh, to whom we will not finish to say thanks again. And uh, to leave us a little bit, bring our so, uh, I will say uh, begin in, the, in the very beginning, so cruel situation in a country which uh, would like to be a sovereign country, a, a strong country, which is a strong country. Uh, economically, but still with so uh, great uh, problems uh, because of the mm, mis, uh, I call it mis, uh, organization. We do, we are not really specialists of reorganization of a country. We proved that since 10 years. So uh, it's a great uh, opportunity to take some of images where uh, we are living uh, in a very old civilization resident. Uh, as you know all, Iraq is Mesopotamia of 7,000 years of civilization and is the house of the very first law, code of law, many codes of laws, and the very famous one, Hammurabi code of law, Today, we are unable to really uh, applicate any law, to uh, recognize any law. Uh, Iraq is also uh, the, one of the very uh, specially uh, powerful country of uh, Middle East, economically and even in human level. We have so many capacities and uh, uh, capacities uh, which unfortunately are everywhere and not in Iraq, actually. And uh, we would like to also see that uh, the situation of uh, all those uh, changes uh, project very uh, negatively on minorities specifically. And uh, we focus on Christian situation, of course, uh, not because I am Christian, but because in our organization also we uh, really uh, focus on this file, which was a very uh, uh, bloody fire for uh, four years, and uh, till now we don't understand really why, why Christians or uh, even uh, other minorities, non non-Muslim minorities, uh, will be the victims without any um, any reason, valuable reason, because uh, they are normally not part of. The, 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 the clash we have always, Sunnah, Shia, power, money, they are really people who just uh, live in their countries and try to have this possibility of peaceful uh, life with others, with their neighbors. And they were witness for that for, for, for thousands of years that they welcomed uh, the others. We will see that uh, Mesopotamia uh, is uh, Christianized since very first uh, uh, time of Christianity. Even in uh, Acts uh, uh, 2 is saying when the uh, uh, Holy Spirit was uh, 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 coming to uh, disciples, they were Mesopotamians. So very fastly, uh, Mesopotamia was evangelized <coughs> by Jesus' apostles, by St. Thomas who was there, then two of the 72 apostles, Mary and Adai, who came from uh, Holy Land to uh, evangelize this land, which was the land of many different uh, religions, ancient religions, and where we till now still have some of those religions, such as Azidis and Mandais. Well, Mandais, they are very near to Christianity because they are followers of St. John the Baptist. But Ezidis are those uh, origins of Zoroastrians, of you know, very ancient Mesopotamian uh, different civilizations and um, religions. 
uh, Mesopotamia, like uh, Iraq of today, like a country diverse in many senses, ethnically, like uh, relig religiously, uh, has to be uh, a country governed really by a system, a democratic system, to be able to respect those uh, rights of everybody, as uh, His Holiness was saying yesterday, that to protect that dignity of everybody in uh, its difference of uh, belief or of, uh, uh, of uh, uh, identity, ethnic identity. <laughs> we were uh, for years and years victims of forced Arabization. We must say we are Arabs. When my mother dies and didn't know any words of Arab, Arabic, which is not a problem really because she was not Arab, she was not in a, an area lived or she didn't uh, live in an area where, where Arab were, she was not in the school to, to know Arabic, so she died, she didn't know Arabic, she didn't know even how Arabs, they deal in their traditions. So it's not a deal to, to, to be not Arab in an uh, Arabic country because we are uh, different nations from the first time of, uh, of our history. This country was never uh, governed by people who really understand this richness of, uh, um, uh, of people who are rich in, in, in so many, uh, you know, heritage of uh, intelligence, of uh, uh, cadres they, they created. It was always that situation of bloody action. Uh, even if it's an exception, you will see in the Middle East, Iraq was never never a subject of civil war. We, we had wars, yes, maybe regime against people, people against regime, but not people against people. We just lived together as brothers and sisters all our lives till this way of educating people uh, to be uh, uh, against each other uh, since uh, last regimes and especially the faith campaign uh, Saddam Hussein did before he, he, he finished, it was um, very bad planting for a, a, a sort of, uh, of secularism, of uh, uh, a sort of uh, extremism, which uh, will stay in Iraq for, for more long time than we, what we, we believed. So uh, since the American invasions, we, I would like to go very fast for to leave the historical uh, side to stay in the situation of today. Uh, I will uh, hope you will see, uh, it's not this one, but you will see uh, another one, Baghdad today. You will see Baghdad in, in which kind of, of way people are living. A change which was made and uh, which was not really um, very prepared post-change. Nothing were prepared even by American or by Iraqis for post regime. So we came on uh, a country which was completely destroyed, completely destroyed, economically destroyed, even, even psychologically of people who, who are really good world people, Iraqi people. But uh, everything was always throughout wars, war after war. There is a destruction of the mentality which was created, which is not easy to be rebuilt and to be healed. We see that Christians were uh, like other minorities. I think all Iraqis were, in some senses, targeted. Uh, and uh, terrorists are uh, today the, uh, we, we, call, uh, we call it Basmar uh, uh, al uh, Everybody do anything is terrorists who do. So it's easy to say terrorist. We have, yes, we have Qaeda, Al Qaeda in, in Iraq. We have Al. Uh, many group who are uh, armed group in Iraq, so everybody is mixing with everybody to do whatever. Uh, 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 nobody can really understand why. Why Christians were, uh, were targeted? Why students going to their university between uh, Christian areas of Nineveh, Plain and Mosul, twice they were completely killed in their, in their uh, um, cars? Why Christians in the church were massacred while they were completely singing the peace? Why children were uh, targeted to where they were in their schools, etc., etc. So uh, it's, it's a question of uh, how to see this mentality of violence becoming a culture. 
uh, this mentality of corruption becoming a culture in a country which didn't really uh, uh, um, uh, didn't uh, uh, accept to be uh, forever uh, a property of some and not of others, because we are a so diverse country, we need to have a, a system which protects everybody. Uh, after the change, Christian were, you know, before the change were still one million and a half. After the change, more and more they left the country because of the uh, targeting, uh, continual targeting for many reasons. Uh, one reason was because those Americans are Christians and those Christians are with them. Uh, even one day I was on television directly, somebody from Basra who called me uh, on television saying, why, w when you got to the time to build all those churches there, uh, you, are, you, know, you are Christian, you must go to Europe or to, to America, you came with them. I said, okay, I'm sorry, you are not Iraqi. Just I, I didn't reply you because you are not Iraqi because Iraq is just multi, uh, multi uh, religious. And when Iraq was Christianized, American didn't exist like country, and Islam was not yet in the head of God. So it was <laughs> because 700 years before, before Islam, we were just uh, Christian, and uh, there were also other other religions. There were pagans, maybe who, who didn't believe in anything or have. Uh, some kind of, of religions. So it's, it's a question of really uh, a, re, a re, re, reconstruction of a country which is possible, which is full of hope, we can rebuild, but with such a spirit, with such a, a culture of, of uh, uh, violations, of uh, creating this way of, uh, you know, uh, getting country to, 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 uh, to some Iraqi or even if it's majority Iraqi culture is impossible to leave an Iraq uh, be Iraq. Uh, the day when we welcome lastly the new patriarch uh, Mar Rafael Luis, uh, it was uh, prime minister and uh, speaker of parliament, both of them in the church who spoke and say highly, Christians are most original people of this country. Christians must not leave. Christians are protected by us. We will protect them and why they will leave, if they leave country, country become desert. So I saw them after and I said, I'm sorry, this is very easy speech. You all, you say this, but when Christian are daily massacred, no solution for them, no response to, uh, to our questions. We were massacred in Our Lady of Najat, we were massacred in, and displaced in Mosul, till now we ask you, where are the results of, of investigations? Everybody of you say, we know who is, but it's in our uh, uh, pocket, the, the response. Why it will be in your pocket? Why you don't say, we have a right to say and to know who killed us and why they kill us, what we did to be killed. So uh, it's, it's a question of really leadership. Uh, my brothers uh, Sudanese were speaking about leadership. Iraq is the... the uh, problem number one, leadership. We haven't real leadership who take the, the head of such a rich country, uh, not only patrol, patrol is uh, really for Iraqis, maybe it can be second thing, but in, in all this natural resources we have, other like uh, agriculture, like uh, uh, other things we have, but no leadership, no organizers, no, uh, I think all the good one, all the, the, the best, uh, capacities and experience that he left the country and this is the, the unfortunate thing to today administration. Christians are also um, not only targeted as killed in the street, they are also targeted by law, by Iraqi laws. It's not today law, it's law of 1972. One of the laws we are trying like organization, uh, sorry I forget to uh, tell you that uh, Hammurabi organiza Organization for Human Rights, we are working very hard on human rights issues in Iraq, and we are trying to bring uh, to, to authorities our, our um, uh, problems, which are very old problems. One of them is the many requests we, we just get since two years in our uh, um, ONG, uh, ONG, which was, which was uh, a, a subject for us to say to government just 
we are now free, we can change, we are a democratic country, we would like to rebuild a democratic country. So just go forward to change those uh, uh, very uh, uh, unjust laws. Uh, it's the law uh, 21, uh, the law, uh, sorry, uh, 65, uh, Article 21, uh, 3, which is completely uh, and clearly not, as uh, my brothers in uh, Sudan say, the most. That was before. We amended. Uh, in Iraq, they amended and to say when uh, a mother or a father became Muslim, children must follow the Muslim uh, religion. So um, the, the, the family is completely destroyed. Uh, the problems are completely uh, unresolvable. Uh, we need this uh, law uh, be changed. We took the initiative to uh, really uh, tell officially by, by official letters that we need this change. If you don't do it, so we will come back to, to the street again and to uh, ask to change this, uh, this um, law, which is cause of many, many, many families who leave country because they go otherwise, they say, I am. Uh, I am persecuted uh, religiously, so he is uh, a refugee normally, and uh, he leaves the country. So, uh, Prime Minister Office, uh, very fastly, they respond as that uh, he, they uh, recommend to re review this uh, law and to see, because Hammurabi is saying is against the uh, respect of uh, human rights. That letter was gone to uh, Secretary of uh, Council of Ministers, who did another letter, which was, uh, I, I see they are trying to really deviate things. Uh, they said we uh, just uh, bring it to uh, high court attention, saying, yes, the organizations, NGOs, they are saying this and that in human rights levels, but. Uh, you know, pay attention that uh, Sharia must be uh, safe in this question. So uh, we were doing two big uh, conferences, one in Al-Qosh where Christian are gathered with uh, low man and woman uh, Christian one, and uh, the second in Baghdad with all uh, Baghdadi uh, Iraqi, different Iraqi judges and uh, low man and woman and uh, religious uh, men. And, uh, uh, we uh, told them that this is the, the issue which make Christian also very fear of their, uh, of their uh, uh, future. I remember the, the endowment uh, Sunnah was not very happy of the question at all. He said, this is a question of religions, not a question of law. We would like to gather, we uh, like Christian and Muslim, others not very... He didn't care about uh, uh, EZD or Mandai, they are not important, or, or Baha'i, they are secondary. So Christian, Muslim, we can uh, meet to, to take a decision. I said, I'm sorry, you, you see, even a bishop, he, he, he spoke about the issue very, very clearly to him. The issue is not only religious, the issue is legal. We would like to be protected by laws and not by decisions and not by by dhimi way of, of, of protection, of Quranic protection. We don't want to be protected as Quranic protection. Protect them, dhimi, they are dhimi people, protect them. We don't want this. We are citizenship uh, like anybody in, in Iraq. So uh, please, just we want this, this law to be a law. And when you say it's Sharia, I'm sorry, I studied everywhere in Sharia, in Quran, to, to see this way of, of uh, de deviation, even for Quran. Because if you take in Quran the, the, the verse where it's saying, La uh, ikraha fi din, it means uh, no, uh, no hating in, for, for any religion in Quran. Why you don't take this? And you, you go to take what? Even if it's not, it's not in Quran, it's a faqh, it's, it's a, an interpretation. You do an interpretation. Um, a religion man or a, a religion, very re religious uh, uh, judge put this on the head of Sharia and it's not Sharia. So he was a little bit uncomfortable because it's not Sharia. It's really a, a, a law which was made by, by some religious man. And it was in, in, in order to, to Islamize uh, those who are not Muslims by, by, by law. 
So this uh, question is uh, now on, uh, on um, order to be resolved. We don't know when. It's long because it's now in the cart, but it's not yet to, uh, um, to um, what we call it in Iraq, Majshura. Uh, uh, next week I will see Majshura and uh, we will discuss how they must uh, really take this out of Sharia uh, question because it's not Sharia, it's Fiqh, it's, it's interpretation. So we can touch uh, to uh, some uh, changes. Uh, same thing in many, many uh, other laws. We have what, what, uh, what is in, uh, what concerns the, the, the property, what concerns the equality be between man and woman. You know, in Christian, in Christian uh, uh, s uh, civil code, it can't be like uh, uh, Sharia is uh, saying to Muslims. So now many uh, uh, Christian uh, judges and um, lawyers, they uh, propose new uh, personal code uh, to Christians, which we don't really uh, encourage such as a, a special code if it's possible to amend uh, the laws in the personal code of Iraqi, uh, of today, which is uh, personal code of uh, uh, 70, uh, 59 and uh, civil code as well. So it, it is the, the more progressist one, but we always find those, those uh, uh, articles which uh, put or bring attention to non-Muslims. So uh, we need to just uh, sh uh, change or amend those uh, uh, particular um, uh, articles to do uh, better. But we always say, even, even to change laws, is, that, is not the question to, to really uh, finish the, the, the violations and the violence in Iraq uh, uh, necessarily, because we are in a such situation of chaotic situation. Of, I always say, it even on television in Baghdad, I say we are still in mentality of war. So the mentality of war, when we see since uh, 2003 to 2011, uh, we have uh, not least than uh, 864 uh, 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 Christians were killed for nothing. And uh, uh, 150 who were uh, kidnapped for nothing. And Bishop of Mosul was completely uh, kidnapped and, ki and killed in a way, uh, in human way, we, we, we even don't like to, to remember that. Uh, all these issues stayed they are violations, big violations against humanity, and they stay without any response, without any uh, solution, without any uh, recompensation. I was speaking about recompensations to uh, uh, Prime Minister and uh, how to deal with those families, victims. We, they, are, they are victims twice because they stay alive because uh, and they see their, their families completely uh, finished and how to, to do something. The very easy response was, this is the situation of all Iraqis who can, can do. Okay, I'm sorry. For all Iraqis, I ask this. It's not only for those. But I begin for, uh, with one example, which is uh, maybe easier for me to, to work on. So for all Iraqis, if you do a, a law or a decision, it's for all Iraqis. So even if, even if the will is there, but the will, when it's not really a ca a campaigned by uh, acts, by uh, uh, real um, uh, statements, by uh, statements which enter in act, it's impossible to resolve the problem. We still now um, in a movement, very dangerous movement uh, of, of migrant migration. People leave even from the north. I was last uh, uh, yes last summer in the north, and uh, when I see uh, more than ten young boy, they just leave to Turkey. And I asked them, where you are living? Why? They were in the north, you know, it's more secure. The north is known for, for a better situation. But they say, please, we came. We, we, we were migrants from Baghdad to here. We came here. We can't st study because we don't know Kurdish. And we are asked to know Kurdish. We can't work because there is no chance for us because we, we don't know Kurdish. And we are not uh, a part of a political party here. So we have no chance. So we must leave and we have no place in this country. All those people were proprietor in, the, in that area. They are proprietor from their grandfathers. They leave villages which are uh, really property in their names. So they will come here and there. They will be the poorest people who, who never can really rebuild a, a, a good life for them, for themselves. So how to resolve this? No, not yet 
authorities have time for people. Ten years of, uh, after the, the change, Iraq is still now, at, unfortunately, you have seen the first uh, film or the second, you see the highway of Baghdad is Baghdad today. It's something which really is a shaming for us, even if I, with my all respects to all, uh, um, not this one, the, the one highway, Baghdad today. Yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, showing how this, this problem of leaving the alive people, of leaving the, the, the mission of officials, of administration, of legislation, to look at the life of people and go to see. I, I am happy that we remember uh, uh, Musa al who is died uh, 1,400 years ago. But to stop all the life, it's something to, to be questioned. So all religions must have democratically right to do this. So no way we, we can live with, with death and speed to live with uh, a normal life. This is the big highway in Baghdad. It's completely stopped for one week. No way to go anywhere, to, to, to move. To, it's, it's just to, 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 to go to pray and to, to do lamentation in, in Kadhmiya. And this is, I think, uh, a question of, of reorganization, of recreating a, a new system which is not in the mentality of those who took place of a big dictatorship. Big dictatorship was dictatorship, we knew. And new diversity who came to take place was not really prepared. And they were only, and just, I can say it, the heritage, or the heritage, they heritage really that way of dealing. Till now, we, we deal in the same spirit of before, in, you know, in, in, in order to say, uh, yeah, you, we are many, we, we can do, we are diversity. And sectarian uh, diversity is not really a solution for Iraq. Everybody is saying we don't like more uh, the, the diversity of sectarianism, but everybody is running after to, to really uh, stay on uh, seats. They need uh, voice, and the voice in sectarian uh, way, it's easier to, to, to be brought. So uh, elections are there uh, in 2014. So uh, everybody needs uh, voice. Uh, the sectarianism came back when all of them, even the more sectarian one in the government or in the parliament were saying, we don't want sectarianism, is something bad. Now it's coming back because of uh, next elections. So Christians in all this, they are really uh, uh, the loser. They were the loser during Americans because uh, they were really very uh, few uh, accounted. They were even not uh, taken in account. Uh, there were a quota, lastly, to Christian to just stay alive. One quota in parliament to, to, to stay alive, to don't be completely uh, die. That was also throughout a, a big war we, we took, uh, like NGOs, like uh, political parties, church, even, even uh, uh, ambassador of Vatican to, to say, please, just Christian are there. You must leave them some, something to be there which is also the weak uh, part of, of existence, which didn't bring really the solution to Christians, and Christians are in very big uh, uh, impasse. We, it's it's, it's uh, a problem of really uh, future. We, we don't know what happens in future if all what is really now in Baghdad will uh, believe that uh, to, to leave the country is the, the better solution. I am one of those who, this is for me a red line, because uh, we can't uh, have the rights in, in uh, his own country if we are not there. But uh, if we are there, it's very uh, uh, expensive to be there. It's, it's your life, your life of your children. I understand my friend Egyptian, which is saying it's, it's not easy when you are targeted and to stay. We are targeted indeed. We are. Uh, we, we try to stay, but uh, we don't know how really and when, even if we don't lose the, the, the hope, because even with this, we still have some uh, uh, persons who are goodwill persons who would like to, to be Muslim, modern Muslim, who cry and say, we don't accept this. Christians are the most important people in this country. Christians are the base of culture and, uh, and all, all science in this country, etc., etc., which, which is not very good uh, uh, here because of this way of disorganizations of uh, administra administration level, of uh, those uh, uh, 
uh, armed people everywhere. Uh, we have many, many armies. You know, I call them all armies because uh, army now, maybe uh, they are also in false way sometimes to, to get with uh, those groups, unknown groups who uh, just became uh, a force in the, in the street and they would like to save you when they, they, they kill everybody. So um, it's very difficult. I'm sorry I, I was wrong, but I will Thank you. take questions. Thank you. Thank you.